Hey guys, hope you are doing well. I have, I'm going to do this this video um, to give you some, I don't know, just to give you my testimony of how I went from zero or from nothing to Christ. Uh, I'm going to be try try to be quick. I've made some topics from when I was a child to to right now. I'm in my late thirties. And I will begin right away, so you don't don't have to wait. Okay, it all started in my life when I was a kid. I was baptized when I was young, but uh, when I was a baby, basically. But that didn't really matter. My parents were Catholic, not non practicing uh, Catholics. But anyway, I was baptized, and uh, when I was in first grade. In school, we used to have a class which was about uh, religion and morals. And uh, I remember learning when I was a kid, of course. And the first things that I that I used to, to feel was I was a kid, right? So when I, when I went back home, I remember before bed that I would uh, pray sometimes. Not many. I, I only remember one time. And I remember praying in my bedroom. And I remember feeling some kind of presence, like a good presence when I was praying, okay? And I remember, I remember feeling it, even watching the room, because I felt it. But um, it, all, it all went away, because I, 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 was, I was a child. I, I, I didn't understand that uh, I had this presence when I, when I did so, when I, when I prayed. So... That was the first, the first uh, feeling, the first experience that I have, that I had, uh, when I was a kid. Second, this is more supernatural. I was still a kid. I was probably around six, seven, even probably even younger. Uh, I remember one time. I was living with my with my parents and my brother, from a restaurant. And it was probably late, it was probably 9, 10, 11 p.m. And uh, we, were, we were walking, uh, uh, getting outside from the restaurant. And I remember start to, that I started, to started running. There was no one, no one in the street. It was all dark. It was nighttime. I remember I started running, 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 running from them. And uh, I went to, to a jailwalk. Because that it was it was like a street with cars, no, but there weren't any cars, and I saw the jailwalk, and I started running to for to it like really fast, and when I'm passing, walking through or running through the jailwalk, all of a sudden there 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 comes this car, and he breaks, and I was going to get hit by a car, but all of a sudden out of nowhere there was no one around. I don't remember seeing anyone around. I just feel this push, like someone pulling me. Um, not push, the pull. Like someone pulling me uh, and, and basically helping me escape from getting hit from, from the car. I remember it was, I just I like, I was like super shocked because there was this car that almost hit me. I was a kid, don't be probably five, six, seven, okay? I remember looking around. I only see. I, I remember seeing like there was this some some kind of man. He was probably in his twenties. I don't. I don't really remember. I couldn't see his face. He just. I just just saw a glimpse of him, and all of a sudden he disappeared. Okay. I don't remember him walking. I don't remember seeing him leaving the scene. I just remember that I was I was saved, and all of a sudden I never saw him again. He didn't say anything. He didn't uh, talk to my parents. My parents were, were kind of far because I, I had run from them. Nothing. He disappeared, okay? That was my first unexplained um, yeah, supernatural uh, experience. Uh, not except with the presence, of course. But okay. That was the, the second time. Um, the third time, I don't think it was supernatural, but I think it was God's. Once again, protecting me, because I was riding my bike with my my brother, and uh, my bike was small, his was big. Of course, I was a kid, 
and he he went from from um, the the um, I mean he he he, he he used the bike to go through through the street where the cars were passing, and I tried doing the same, but when I did so, like uh, crossing the street with with the bike. But I, I didn't look to see if there were any cars coming. And of course, <laughs> there was a car coming. And the car hit, hit the road of my, uh, the, front, fr the front road of my, of my bike. And I immediately, immediately fell. Nothing happened to me. Okay. But once again, I could, I could easily be, be, be dead. It, not, nothing happened to me. Okay. So those were the, the first in my childhood. I had basically a, a very normal childhood. Uh, when I was a kid, nothing, nothing happened. Nothing, all, all good. It was, it was amazing. Lots of friends, etc. Then, I went to high school, and in high school, um, I I remember that we 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 still had the the religion and morals class, but it was optional. So the first thing that I did, of course, because even even though this happened. I, I still didn't believe in anything. I mean, I remember talking to, to, a, to a colleague of mine. He was, he was religious, okay? And I remember teasing him and asking him, oh, and if, if God is so true, how come there are dinosaurs? How do you explain that? I mean, we were kids and I was teasing them, okay? So I didn't believe it. Even though I was educated on it, I didn't believe it. And it was a Catholic kind of education. Anyway, back to high school, the first, the first years of high school. I was a, a very good student. Um, and um, I remember that I went to a school where I basically suffered like no one suffered. I was bullied all the time because I was smart, okay? I, um, I was robbed pretty much every day. Uh, it was hell. Uh, I really didn't like it. And uh, but even even so, in the first two years from high school, I was still, I mean, the fifth and the sixth grade, I was still um, still strong. Okay, I still had friends, etc. Back when I went to to the real high school from the seventh to the to the twelfth grade, that's when things started started to go down. My grades uh, started started going 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 down um, I started becoming depressed um, still some bullying not so much but I became very a loner pretty much okay always depressed uh, I didn't like uh, I don't know I was like it was like one of the worst times of my life to be honest um, and um, I'm, I'm only talking about this because uh, it, it goes to, to something that I did, okay? But anyway, I was feeling very, very lonely once again. Uh, I started um, looking up to music as my escape from Nirvana and Kurt, Kurt Cobain, etc. And uh, being a child, because you are still a child in, in, in high school, whatever you say, I started um, imitating what my idols, in this case Kurt Cobain, used to do. And um, it's very, very shame, very shameful for me from saying this. But um, I came to a point where I tried to, to suicide, to kill myself. Um, I, don't, I think I only told this to one person. Um, but anyway, um, I, tried to, I tried to kill myself. I took some pills, some sleeping pills. I, I basically drank uh, some, some whiskey. I hated it, but I, I drank because I, I read that uh, mixing alcohol with, with sleeping pills would do it. <laughs> and, um, and I basically woke up in hospital uh, because my, my brother that night, I was alone at, uh, at home because my parents went to, for a weekend. I used to stay, stay home. Uh, and for it was it was luck because my my brother arrived from from going to his girlfriend, and he saw me like I don't know I was probably twitching or like all all screwed up, 
and uh, he basically took me to the hospital and I, I was saved, someone pumped, pumped my stomach, etc. You know, I don't remember much from that night. I do remember that I had written like a note, suicide note, but I hid it. In I, I wasn't, because I was ashamed, ashamed from it. Um, if, even the, the sleeping pills, um, the sleeping pills, um, like the plastic that they came with, I threw it out from, from the window so that no one could, could understand wh where. I don't know, it was so premeditated and so stupid. And I haven't told, I never told my, my family. I don't know why. I don't know, I'm, I'm ashamed, you know. Um, but it didn't happen, it didn't, nothing happened uh, to my life, thank God. I did woke up in the hospital. I do remember seeing one thing, and um, it was something, it was like pitch black, okay? But I was aware that it was pitch black. I remember... I remember looking and it was pitch black. It was probably like from a fraction of a second, but I was aware of it. It wasn't just like having your eyes closed. No, it was like something really, really dark. And um, and that never, never clicked on me until some months ago, back in 2020, okay? Where I had seen, I had already seen like... Uh, uh, videos from dreams and visions from hell and um, and some people many people in, in fact had seen that hell was like a, this dark shadow like this dark veil darkness everywhere like really thick darkness and they were in hell okay that that experience from my suicide attempt only clicked like 15 or 20 years later, pretty much, okay? Uh, and I do believe that I was, I was, um, I didn't die, I think. Or if I did, it was probably for a few seconds, hopefully, or something. Uh, but I, I remember that, okay? And it, it only clicked this, this year, because I had never thought about it. <sighs> okay. Second thing, a second, I don't know, it's probably the, the fourth thing. Anyway, after that, after the, the suicide attempt, um, I don't know why, but when I came out of the hospital, I had like this, this happiness. I don't, I don't, I, I can't explain, but it was like if nothing, as if nothing happened. And I have to tell you, this is again, extremely st stupid, but uh, when I when I tried the suicide attempt, I mean I was depressed. I was I hated being being alive basically, because I had no friends etc. But I I just washed it off like it if it was nothing. I did it like if it was nothing, like if it didn't mean anything, you know. It was like it was worthless. I, I didn't think of my life as anything, worth worth. Uh, I mean I was I was basically thinking yeah okay whatever I'll do it. No second thoughts, no, no feelings of of all the the pain that I could cause my parents. I mean, it was it was like so. I was so superficial. My 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 mindset was so superficial. That I thought that I thought okay, it's just one thing. I'll do it, and yeah, it's over. It was, it was it was. I mean, I, I'm so ashamed of myself to be honest. Um, I'll keep keep continuing. It's not not too much, too much more. Okay. <sighs> Passed for some years, and um, I began getting interested by UFOs. And um, the thing is, I didn't be still didn't believe in God. Every time I was watching or searching YouTube or whatever about uh, UFOs and uh, spaceships and uh, stuff like that. Whenever I found some comments from people talking about Jesus, from, t from people talking about God, they were trying to explain. I, I, I'm completely honest. I was always, 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 always 
skipping them forward. Skipping, I didn't, I didn't even want to, to think about it. Because in my mind, and probably yours, if you are watching this, if you were like me, I, would use, I used to think, okay, this is like some fanatic, some relig religious fanatic. It's some, some, some crazy kid or some crazy person. I don't want to have anything to do with it, okay? So this happened for a lot of time. I was searching and watching lots of UFOs, documentaries, every, every kind of stuff. I mean, pretty much everyone. Everyone, I, I basically swiped the net and uh, looked at anything from UFOs. I spent hours and hours. Until, until this, and this is, again, I'm telling you this, but I think it's, it's God's. I mean, we, we, no, we don't see the path in front of us, we can only, I mean, you don't, you don't, you don't take notice of what, what you have, what God has asked for you till years later, okay, because I, it was like so, so, so amazing, but I was one night, I was again watching my, my UFO videos, and uh, there was some, this person, I don't remember the name, of course, But that person wrote something about Nephilim, okay, in the comments. And it was, it was all it took, Nephilim. He said that uh, the UFOs were, were, ne were, the, were the Nephilim. And um, this is how God works with us. And it's amazing because I searched for, for the Nephilim. And only because of that search, I, was, I became... I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't like one day and it's, that's it. No, but I became interested in trying to find out the truth, you know. And I started searching for Nephilim, from Nephilim. On YouTube, I started watching videos about the fallen angels, about Lucifer, about... Uh, I mean, <laughs> what, what the Bible speaks of in Genesis. And, um, and it all started to make sense. And before you knew it... Um, I started um, I started getting getting more more interest in the Bible in not not really in the Bible but in what people to sp spoke about the Bible like videos etc and it was like a journey where I I basically still to today I still every day I watch like dozens of videos about this this topic <sighs> and um And that was how I found, basically, God. I wasn't saved. I wasn't. I hadn't repented, but uh, I started getting very interested. Okay. Then there was like the Rene Moses, which you probably knew about. This this prophet. I mean, I wouldn't call it. I wouldn't call it her her prophet, but she she always does the same videos, and uh, always putting dates. Whatever it's her thing. I don't care. But uh, back in 2015 or 16, I believed her because I was very young in this. And um, it was the first time that I really repented or tried to repent, you know, to accepting Jesus, okay? Because, um, I mean, I cried a lot. I, one night I remember crying and, and just asking God for forgiveness because I knew what I had done. Because during all these times, All my life, I had been like a porn addict, you know, um, like a very, a very, a very hedonistic type of person. I only cared about pleasure of sexual satisfaction that led to bigger or worse um, sexual immorality, of course, as you know, because porn is, is like this, uh, porn is like a drug. You start to... With the normal, and then you you always up the the ante, you know, getting into more hardcore stuff. And uh, anyway, I, back in 2015, 16, that's when I started um, what making some videos also. Uh, some of them are not perfect. I know it's lots of stuff that I talk talk, talk about. There are some things that are, that I don't actually. Um, believe right now but uh, the, the main the, the basis of it is still the same but anyway um, I was I was trying to get saved because of the whole rapture thing 
but I still 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 kept sinning, like uh, watching porn and uh, and sexual immorality. Okay. Anyway, um, during that time, I had a girlfriend. Um, she was the longest girlfriend I ever had. And I remember having a dream. And, and that dream was very simple. Uh, I was in the beach. I was all alone. I mean, I was alone by myself, but there were other people in the beach. And all of a sudden, there came this huge wave, like a tsunami, but really huge wave. And I remember, started running from the beach to a uh, hut, kind of hut or a house nearby. And I hid hid behind the house because the wave was coming. And when the wave came, I remember having closing my eyes really hard. And I didn't, I just remember kind of starting to float. And that was it. I didn't didn't remember getting hit by by the by the um, the wave. I don't remember anything more, but um, that was like the first dream or kind of a vision that I had during that time. Also, during that time, like late 2016 or 15, okay? Um I did uh, there was two more occasions. I will speak this one more before I told you the the supernatural one. Another one was again I was watching lots of videos from YouTube and um and I really do believe that I was having some kind of demonic um attacks like some people talk about in YouTube and etc. Um but I I do think that when you're not saved and when you watch lots of uh, stuff you shouldn't do that you open gates, gateways to demons in your life. And when I say demons, it doesn't mean that they are happening, they are appearing here to scare you or doing stuff to you, but I think they are working through you and you, you really don't know this, okay? But anyway, I do remember being on, on the sofa. I was living alone and I had a sofa, couch, of course, in my living room, like 99% of you do. And I was, doing the, during the night, I was like kind of sleeping in. Yeah, I didn't want to go to the bed because I was watching TV with the, the YouTube videos. And I do remember I was having my eyes closed, but I was awake, you know. And I, I can remember that I, I felt something uh, sitting beside me, right, right behind my back, okay. I remember feeling the, the coat, the, the, um, the sofa, like getting a little bit, um, like, because of the weight, like, like, when you feel like someone sits, sits or, uh, beside you, you feel the weight of the sofa going down near you, you know, I remember feeling that, and I remember, this is, this is scary, kind of scary, but I remember, like, some, something breathing almost uh, behind my neck, okay, I knew it was some kind of demonic presence, I knew it, okay, I remember, Closing my eyes and then and then asking for Jesus to help me, asking for for Jesus to save me to to protect me. Am along alongside with that, there there is something that I have to tell you. Uh, I'm not not trying to make like a conspiracy theory and or anything, but I do believe, and this this is my honest belief. I do believe that some videos in YouTube. They are, they are, um, they have demonic, um, they are, they have some kind of darkness to them. They are, I don't know if so, some Satanists pray for these videos. I don't know. But I do remember back in the day that I had some, I watched some videos. And again, I'm not, um, I don't have any kind of condition, like health conditions, like, um, uh, I don't know, like the, the I I can't remember the name of the of the of the disease, but it's like if you if you watch some um, some lights some some flash of lights some, something can trigger an attack. Uh, I don't remember the name of the disease. You probably know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I I don't suffer from from anything of that. But I do remember that at night after watching some YouTube videos, mainly about UFOs and this kind of this theories, no. 
I do remember that I, when I closed my eyes, I felt like something was was messing with my brain, like like some like I was having some kind of seizure, you know. But I can't prove it, and I can't can't tell you which video which videos were because I've watched lots of them, like they were on the playlist or even so they were just playing, so I can't really tell you. But I just wanted to tell you that. Another thing that w that is super important. Still, back in in the, those those the, that year, I think, two thousand sixteen, if I'm not mistaken, um, I decided to do a a five or six day fast, juice fast, because I had I had read that um, I mean not only from the Bible, it that was that was the year I think that I read the Bible for the first time, from front to back, um, and I, I remember. That I wanted to do a juice fast because I again I had read that if you if you fast, you get more in in touch with with the Lord with Jesus, and with, with our Father in heaven, and uh, so I wanted to to have some kind of vision or some kind of uh, uh, some kind of of contact okay with with our with our with Jesus, so I did the juice fast, and it it was really strange because. I did the juice fast from I think it was till Friday from Monday to Friday or to Saturday morning I can't really remember, but I do remember that the the last day I don't know again I don't know if it was Friday or or, or Saturday, but on the on the last day during the morning, I was thinking to myself okay, this doesn't work I'm not getting anything from this, from doing this juice fast it was all for nothing, and when I was thinking about that. I remember that I, I was given a flash, kind of a flash of light right in front of my eyes, as if someone took a picture of me with the flash on, okay? And you get like the, your retina gets burned from the flash and you, you see the, 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 the square from the flash in your eyes, you know? You know that, that feeling? But the flash that was given in front of my eyes was of a red letter and the letter was a V, Okay? I still can't remember. I not not remember. I still can't understand exactly what this meant. I don't know if it was a V, uh, meaning the fifth age of Aquarius or whatever. I do. I did watch some some videos from uh, Return of the King channel, where he, in his explanation of a possible rapture timeline, he had this V, this red V. I think it was about that, but I can't really tell. Um. But anyway, that was that was the only the only message I was given from this fast, and uh, I don't I don't I mean again like I said, God gives us gives us stuff gives us glimpses, we can't make them out what they are, when we receive them, but it all is is it, it usually all makes sense back, later later some years later or some months or whatever, so meaning you can you can't figure it out. At the moment, but with time it all makes sense, okay. So anyway, I'm just I'm I'm almost almost finishing. So anyway, I was uh, supposedly a new a new Christian back in those days, and uh, this was 2016. It wasn't that far ago. It was four years ago, um, and um, the I I had still had the girlfriend, and. Uh, I re I received a, an offer. Technically, I did apply, but I basically went to 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 work abroad from my country, Man City. I went to another country, and uh, when I was there, I was very alone, of course, alone by myself in a new country, in the new, in a new city, in a new language. So basically, I I still had the girlfriend, but we broke up. Because it was like doing this this um, long distance relationship, it it would never work, and uh, unfortunately we broke up. She was she was someone I really really cared about, but but when I accepted, I I was also very again, I don't know I don't know why I did this, but it was I mean I guess it was meant to be, but I I I have regrets from doing so, and even more regrets about what I'm about to tell you. But just just to make you make you be aware, in the dream of the tsunami, I was alone and I didn't have a girlfriend. Okay, 
And I remember that when I, ha when I had that dream, I, I remember thinking, why wasn't my girlfriend, which I, I loved, and it was, again, the longest girlfriend I ever had, why wasn't she with me? And that always took, uh, st uh, st stood about in my, in my head, okay? But anyway, I went to another country. Uh, it was super hard being alone. And uh, I basically used the the dating apps, etc., Tinder, or whatever. It was like uh, um, it was like two years of sexual immoral immorality and sin that I did. Even though I, I believed in Christ, and even though when I when I went back home at night, I watched the videos from Christians, from Christian channels, from people talking about God, Christ. I still wasn't was doing the opposite, okay? I still kept sinning, I still still kept having sex. I still I, w I was I was like an, an an hedonistic person, like I said. I was only searching for women um because I was kind of alone, depressed also sometimes, you know. I started getting into weed. I smoke a lot of weed. I mean, I would smoke like I don't know, six, seven, eight joints a night. A night, I basically all the the night when I arrived from home from work, from from the time I arrived to the next morning, I was constantly smoking joints, smoke uh, constantly. Uh, I mean, I, I did it. I think because it 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 used to eat, it would numb me, and I didn't want to. I don't know why. It was like an addiction. I did this for for a lot of long time. Spent a lot of money on it. And um, I'm again, I'm I'm ashamed of it, you know. I knew I shouldn't be doing this, but it's just to, just to show you how easy it is to to fall fall back down. Um, and again, porn, fetishes, etc. It all kept the same. Okay, I I I wanted to 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 be saved supposedly. But I still kept sinning, still kept watching all the stuff that I shouldn't do. I still kept doing all the type of abominations to, to our Lord that we shouldn't do. I still kept doing them. And this, there, is, there comes another time where this is, uh, again, supernatural. Because uh, I could feel from the, the videos and I could feel that we were closing up on the last days, okay? And... Um, I remember feeling that I wanted, if if something is going to come to, or to to happen, I just I asked the gods, even though I was a sinner, because this still kept. I mean, I knew I wasn't doing what I should be doing, but even with all this, I remember praying and asking for God and Jesus, that if something like like some 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 kind of tribulation some kind of event or something happened i asked him please to let me let me go through it uh, with my family nearby because i was living in another country hey I, I had no work in my country okay i had no work of course and it's uh, it's not easy to to find work and uh and back 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 when I was in 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 this other country, I uh, I was I was dating a girl, okay. But before before this happened, before sorry, I'm 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 mixing this up. Before this, before I I asked God to return to my country, so that something if something happened, I was near my family. Uh, I remember that I I I was dating this girl, and uh, we 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 kept for first for a few months, but um. I remember that I received a phone call from a, a company here in Portugal, in Portugal, where I'm where I'm from. And um, and they wanted me to to go work with them. And I because I was with with this girl back then. I mean it was it was like it was stupid because I only was only dating for a few months, but I really liked her. And um I basically said no that I wasn't interested, okay? I was. I told them. I told them that I wasn't interested, and I was that I was uh, trying to, to to see what would happen. So maybe late, maybe some 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 time later. And um, 
And I basically said no, okay? Some, some, some moments later, some, some, I mean, not some moments, but some, some, probably some, some weeks or some months later, uh, I broke up, we broke up, <laughs> of course. And, um, and then I asked, I asked, I prayed uh, the Lord and our and Jesus, uh, if something like, like some kind of event happened in the world that I wanted to be nearby my, my parents. And truth, truth be, be told, I don't know how much time passed, but it wasn't much. But I received another phone call from Portugal asking me again if I didn't want to, <laughs> to, to go work with them. Um, and, um, and basically, I, when, I, when I came, I accepted it, okay? But just so you know, I had, I had given, I had told them that I, didn't, I wasn't interested, Uh, then I prayed and they returned my call, returned my call weeks or months later, asking me again to please, uh, we want you to come work with us, okay? Just so you know, I, I think this was a, a, I mean, this could be a all coincidence, but I know it, it wasn't. I know it was, it was God, um, was God um, uh, answering to my prayers, And uh, here I am with them, near, living near them. And um, I don't know. Uh, things happen because it's, 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 it's Jesus. Jesus and the Father's will. And we thank God for them. Thank God, really. Anyway, really finishing this up. Um, finally, I was still sitting. And then the coronavirus came up and uh, we, we all started to, in, during March time, we, we all got, to, got home in quarantine, no? And that was the first time uh, that I really started looking at myself. I think this, this happens for a reason. Um, and that was the first time that I was looking really deep to myself and... Uh, And I decided that I, I didn't want to sin. I mean, you can't be... If Jesus asks you to repent, if you love him to repent, okay, you, you can't repent and still keep doing whatever you do all the time that you know is wrong, man. You can't. I mean, you will. I'm not saying that, that I'm perfect, that I'm, I never watched porn again, that I never thought or, or did sexual sins, whatever. Because I did. Back then I did. Because of the quarantine now, I, I don't. <laughs> because it's super hard. And I, I don't want to do it, okay? This is like a mindset. But it was from, from, from the beginning of March. Or late March or something. It was the first time in my life where I, I, I really... I denied myself from that type of pleasure, okay? No, not watching porn. Trying to, I mean try to not watch porn I still watch sometimes but uh I tried not to at my it was not it's not easy man I mean our bodies are are kind of made to for pleasure for trying to feel the most pleasure and when you deny yourself it's super it's it's very it's very hard okay if you've never done it uh if you if you don't if you if you do what I'm doing you know it's it's super hard it's like constantly trying to go against what you want to do. And um, I think this has brought me a little bit closer to God. Um, I, still, I still know I'm a sinner. Jesus came from the, for the sinners, not for the, for, the, for the clean, just ones. Not only, of course. And uh, I mean, that was my experience. Uh, I'm sorry for all the the talk, but I, I just felt like I needed to, to share. I hope this helps you, this helps you get, get a little bit more understanding of how someone can go from, from nothing to a, a complete believer in Jesus Christ. I'm not perfect. Sometimes I deny him, which I'm super ashamed of. And, um, but I don't want to do it anymore. 
And I really hope that you, if you are not a believer, uh, that you, you do believe in Jesus because there is a lot of proof that he existed. That's the first thing. But more than that, when you start to, to really read the Bible and, and watch people speak about it, you know, uh, you, you, you do understand and when you pray. I mean, you feel, you feel it in your heart and um, that's the most important thing. And if you, if you, again, if you don't believe in him, um, I mean, you just need to accept that you are a sinner, that there is sin that you do, that you shouldn't. I mean, every kind of sin from lusting, from even stealing, like how many, if you steal something like a packet, a packet of sugar, that's stealing. It doesn't matter what it is, it's still stealing. If you hate someone, you are you are committing a, you are committing a murder in your in your mind. Like I want to, I want I'm I'm t I'm I'm trying to curse him. I hope he I hope he, he he gets hit by a car or something like that. That stuff of stuff that you you usually think and say when you don't like someone. That is 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 a capital sin. You shouldn't be even be thinking about it. You know, it's it it's it all starts with your mind. And uh, again, I'm just I'm just telling that every type of sin is wrong, every type. And uh, to be with Christ and with God, you can't have any sin because they are holy. We are not. So you need to admit first that you are a sinner, and you need to confess your sins to Jesus when you are alone, when you are in your room, when you are in your car, whatever, whatever you are. You don't need to have anyone with you. You only need to talk with your with with Father in heaven, and with Jesus Christ. And you basically just need to believe and confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is our Lord, or is your Lord. That He is God in the flesh. That He came to this world with a very specific uh, plan to die for your sins. Because in the old days, the Jews, the Hebrew people, had to kill a lamb with no with no no flaw, no mark, so that their sins could be could be washed away. It was the blood only. The only the sin can only be paid by blood. Okay, and that that's the, that's the thing. If you don't accept Jesus to pay your sins with his blood, you will need to pay your sins with your blood. And that, if you do that, if you, if you, if you reject Christ, that will, will make you go to hell because no one is worthy to, to wash your sins except Jesus, okay? Uh, and basically, uh, you just need to accept Christ that he is is God in the flesh. That he came to this world to, to be crucified and killed, to wash your sins away because his blood washes your sins, and then you need to believe that he he, he resurrected three days later, and ascended to heaven. And um, that's pretty much it. You just need to believe that. You need to confess it. You need to 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 believe it from your heart. And this is this isn't just okay. I I do believe. No, you need to be. You need to be. Humbled. You need to. You need to understand, that we are we are we are all in one. We are all, all one in Christ. We are not. Um, you are not better than me. I'm not better than you. You are not better than your opponents. You are not better than your colleagues at work. I mean, that that. That's like this is a mindset where we need to understand we must be meek, we must be humble, we must be like children, you know, and this is why why people mock Christians, but this is the truth you you try you must try to if you if you are lying if you are a, a evil bastard you know like you 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 do like um you set things up you all have like this plan to to make some people think something from the others or, you know, being kind of wicked, Machiavellic, you know, 
you, you must you must reject all that you must you must be simple you must be yes is yes no is no you know i mean i don't know you just need to 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 but to be a normal person like a a a, a soft person i mean everyone has their 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 type their type of um, but you need to you need to be like really open to the idea of trying to change okay that's the first thing if you do so it won't it won't be right right now but it it will work on you jesus will work on you to make you more humble and to make you believe in him so that's the first the first step so i don't want to to talk about this because i'm i'm not so good at explaining things like as you probably imagined or figured it out but um uh, but yeah so i just hope you this 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 uh, testimony helps you a bit uh i hope uh, if you feel i don't know i'm not going to share this but just use it as you as you will and if it helps at least one of of one i'm super happy uh i'm doing this because even though i'm i'm a believer and i repent myself almost daily and i ask jesus to to don't abandon me and to save me i feel that i have i haven't done anything like faith is faith is is nothing without works you know we are not saved by works we are saved by faith in jesus but the same thing what can i do i mean i feel like my faith sometimes is is lacking because i don't have any works and if i at least reach one person so for me that is a victory and i hope uh, it will because of my story which is super sad i mean not super sad but it's it's like it's not a normal story and if this helps you um i hope it helps you conquer addiction conquer suicide thoughts because i went through through all that even from from the experience of trying really trying to do it so hope this helps and um I really wish you all the best. Um stay safe and um may Jesus bless you and God, okay? Take care guys. Bye.